Hi, my name's Tony Hanlon. I'm a police sergeant at Coventry Partnerships. My role is looking after all the secondary schools in Coventry, the universities and the colleges. So I'm here today in one of our schools, going through some self-defence lessons to safeguard young girls against violence. Okay, so about three years ago, um, I came into post and started a project, first of all, in the, the family hubs. Um, targeting vulnerable young girls who are at risk of exploitation, sexual exploitation, getting their parents, guardians um, and other carers to come to sessions after school um, for me to give them inputs on keeping themselves safe out in the community. And then I started doing some self-defence lessons with them, basic restraints, uh, strikes, etc. Following that, um, pushed the project into the secondary schools um, just over a year ago and um, more recently, over the last couple of months, I've been running classes uh, within schools, which has been really well received. It's one of the um, great pieces of work that we do within the Coventry Partnerships team, something I, I really, really enjoy. It's a great way of building good relationships with, with young people. Um, one of the many things we do, we also do a lot of other things in school, working with uh, new um, immigrants to the, to the country. Uh, it, within school, we'll do what's called a Peel Project, so we'll give an input on, on the police, um, talking about consent, talk about the laws uh, of the country, um, some, of the, some of the issues that go on within Coventry, such as knife crime, drugs, etc. But trying to build that relationship that the, the young people then go back to their parents and talk about the police and what a good interaction they've had. And then they come along to a, the police station, we present them with a certificate for all the hard work that they've done, and they get a chance to, to meet some of our, our colleagues and look around some of the police vehicles in the station. Okay, so another project we do, um, done recently, is around uh, graffiti art. It's about getting young people to respect the schools that they attend and the property. We had a, a number of students at one school that were causing damage, so um, got them engaged, working with one of, one of our partners to do a nice uh, feature um, on one of, the, one of the walls at the school, which they can um, you know, take a lot of pride in, the fact that they've done that and, and just shown that respect um, for that facility. Further to that, um, we also deliver a number of inputs around knife crime, around gang violence, around exploitation, um, road safety, etc. Our partnerships department has done a great number of projects uh, over the last um, 12 months. These have included a Let's Fish project, so for young people that not necessarily enjoy the academic side of their schooling, but they're given a, a coaching qualification, allowed to do some fishing and work with other people within their, their local community. Um, so one thing we're also doing in our primary schools are the junior PCSOs, so that's getting our young people um, to wear the um, PCSO uniform to get involved in a, a number of projects that given badges at the end. That's really well received within the primary schools. Um, so another th thing we do in our secondary schools is um, is recruiting for police cadets. This is for ages 13 to 17. Um, we've had a number of students start that have come from more projects that have run at the early help hubs. In fact, we've recruited around about 12, but we also recruit quite a number from the secondary schools who have an interest in joining the police as a career later in life. 